Hey everybody, this uh, tutorial is going to cover the installation and configuration and running of GoQuai Stratum, uh, which is an implementation of Stratum Proxy for Quai Network. We're super excited about this one um, as it kind of provides the building blocks for onboarding a ton of GP miners onto the network, as well as kind of lays the fundamentals or foundation of um, mining pools moving into you know the next few test nets as well as well as mainnet uh, so super excited to kind of get to show you guys this new piece of uh of code that we've, we've gotten up and running and um let's get right into it so to start i'll, I'll preface this again um, as i did in the node tutorial we're going to be running this on mac um, or mac os the Stratum proxy or this tutorial also kind of uh, parallels with any Linux distro as um, Mac OS is a Linux based environment. So most of the commands will be pretty similar except for some of the dependency installation. Um, and second, uh, this tutorial slash Stratum proxy um, is not currently supported on Windows or WSL2. So um, do not try and set this up on some uh, Windows Linux VM as it generally speaking will not work um, primarily just because of the networking between the VM and the actual computer. But um, we also just generally speaking don't have support for Windows as of just yet. But we can kind of, I'll, I'll kind of give a broad overview of what Stratum actually does. Um, it basically serves as the middleware between a node and a GPU miner. Uh, Stratum will take data from the node as far as new blocks, um, transactions. It will pass them to the GPU miner. The GPU miner will hash out a solution for that block, pass it back to the proxy, and the proxy or Stratum proxy will submit that solution to the node um, to eventually be added to the chain. Um, that's kind of just a broad level overview of what we're actually going to be set up setting up here. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with. Um, the environment setup and nice little note here is as we go to install our dependencies um, all of our dependencies are going to be exactly the same as go um, so if you've already run through our go installation and running tutorial um, you'll already have all of the necessary dependencies installed on your computer and to kind of build upon that um, the quai or go stratum the stratum proxy is designed to be run on the exact same machine as your node. Um, so you should already have all the dependencies installed because you're supposed to be running it on the same computer. Uh, this actually just works way easier. It's it's way better as Quai Stratum is already configured um, networking wise to interact directly with the node on, on the same computer rather than, um, rather than another server or computer machine uh, that you could be running it on. You, definitely can run another machine. Um, it's quite difficult or more, much more difficult in terms of configuration. Uh, but if you're feeling adventurous or developer-y, uh, go ahead and do that. But for now, we'll just be installing them on the exact same machine. And kind of just do a brief overview of the uh, dependencies that are required here as we've already I've already gone ahead and installed them on this computer as we've already installed our node. Um, but because we're running on Mac, we would be doing a brew install go, which installs Golang on our computer, um, as well as brew install git and make, which are just general necessary dependencies to actually be able to run Stratum and go quiet. And before we actually get started on installing go quiet Stratum, what we're going to actually do is we're going to, um, whoops. We need to back out of that. So we're going to navigate over to our already installed GoQuai node. Uh, we're going to make stop to make sure that it's not already running. It's not already running. And we're actually going to go ahead and start, uh, start our node. And this kind of serves the purposes for the proxy to actually work, it must connect to a node. Um, so we're just going to start our node prior to doing any installation or setup just to make it easy for when we actually get to running the proxy. Uh, but that being said, every time you want to start your proxy, you also have to be running a node in the background. And now that we've actually started our node, we're going to verify that we've started it correctly. So um, I've kept the node in the same location as the node tutorial, which is going to be zone zero one. Um, so we'll check the node logs for that location. 
and it looks like we are properly running. Um, this is just on a local, so there's not too much to be actually going through the node logs, but um, we'll go ahead and exit out of that as we already know, or we have now verified that our node is running correctly. Um, and so from there, we will change back into our home directory and actually start installing GoQuai Stratum. Um, so we do have a nice little link out to the Stratum repo, but to actually install it, all we'll need to do is just copy this git clone and CD command. And what this will do is it will clone the main branch of Quai Stratum onto your computer as well as navigate on into it. Um, you can see ls, we've got all of the packages that are actually in, uh, in GoQuai Stratum here. And because uh, we're checking out this main branch, um, or I should say, we, this command only checks out the main branch to your machine. Uh, and unless you intend to develop, as we say here, you must check out the, the latest release um, of Stratum just because this is the code that everyone on the network should be running on. Um, it'll be the most current code and the most uh, efficient. So to check the current releases, we're going to, got too many of these tabs open. Um, to check the current releases, we're going to go to the Quai Stratum releases page. We're going to copy the release that's up at the top here, um, not any of the previous ones. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the docs. And right here, we've got the git checkout command that uh, actually checks out that release. Um, this obviously is a dummy variable as well as this one here. Um, but we're going to follow the same structure in our terminal and run git checkout and then paste that tag uh, number or uh, yeah, we'll say number in there. Um, and this will actually go ahead and check out that tags code to your machine. So that is what we'll be running. And I know this is probably common. We also saw this when we were checking out the current release in the node. Um, it'll give you a message that says you're in a detached head state. There's no reason to worry or panic about this. This is completely normal when checking out one of the releases. Um, but just know that the head of our code is now pointed directly at this uh, v0.8.0-rc.2 uh, tag. And to make things a little nicer, we'll clean this on up. Um, and so now that we've gone ahead and cloned GoQuai Stratum to our machine and checked out the latest tag, we're going to start configuring or, yeah, we'll start configuring. Um, and so what this entails is going to be much easier than what we did in the node. Um, all we got to do is copy this config.example.json into a config.json file. Um, so it's nice and simple. We'll paste that command in here and it won't actually output anything, um, but we can rest assured that uh, in our config file, we can check or in the config directory and check and make sure that config.json does exist right here. Um, and after we've verified that that does exist, we can go back out to the GoQuai Stratum directory. We'll clear this out and we'll get ready to actually run the proxy. Um, I will say one last note on, on the configuration. Um, we didn't really go into any actual configuration in this docs as uh, most of it's considered much more advanced um, in terms of network settings and just other relevant variables. If you're feeling adventurous, take a look. Um, I would recommend as any normal user just not to touch the config file. Um, it's already pre-configured to run pretty much perfectly for um, anybody that's just downloading this and getting ready to run. So um, yeah, that'll be kind of it for configuration. And so now we can go on down to running the proxy. Um, as we did with the node, we'll have to build the binary. So I'll just make sure that we are in the correct directory um, and we'll go ahead and run make quiet stratum, which will build the binary for us. And it'll spit out this lovely code at us um, and it'll let us know that we have correctly built the binary. Um, so now that's cleared up, we can go on down to actually running our proxy. Um, and this is only made possible because we did start that uh, start our node at the beginning of this video. So if you're kind of um, skipping around in here, do make sure to start your node before you actually run your proxy as it needs something to connect to. 
the most important thing um, to to kind of be aware of when you're actually starting your proxy is going to be this region WebSocket port variable and this zone WebSocket port variable. Um, these variables are going to essentially determine what shard within Quai you're pointing your stratum or your stratum proxy at. And so I'm going to select the zone and region um, that I want to point my proxy at to mine. Uh, we're going to go grab those ports, port numbers, the WebSocket port numbers from uh, this link right here. And we're going to pass them in as flags into our run command. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll go on over to the WebSocket port command. And if you guys remember from earlier, I'm running my node on, um, it's going to be region zero zone one. And so what we'll do here is we'll note region zero's WebSocket port is going to be 8579 and zone zero, which is going to be region zero zone one. That WebSocket port is 8643. And so we're going to go back to, uh, to the proxy page. We're going to copy this run command and we will do that. Um, and so we're going to change our zone port to the zone zero one WebSocket port 8643. And then we're going to change the region WebSocket port to our region zero WebSocket port, which is 8579. And to actually run it, we're just going to press enter and it should uh, spit out something that looks like this. The way that we know that our proxy is running correctly is it says something like broadcasting new job to zero strata miners. Um, and it says zero strata miners just because we don't have our GPU connected. As soon as you connect a GPU to this proxy, um, it'll start streaming on a bunch more logs as well as it'll say broadcasting to one strata miner or uh, however many strata miners you end up um, connecting to this proxy. And we've got an example um, of what a normal output is going to look like right here. Um, and so we're now actually running our, our uh, GoQuai Stratum proxy. And um, just a couple other things to note, this is going to work very similar to your GPU miner. Uh, it's running when it's streaming logs to the terminal and you can't see the, the command line right here. Um, to be able to, or to stop it, you're just gonna use control C so we can do that very easily like that. That will stop the proxy. And then um, last, I think one of the more important things to, to note here as well is Quistratum default listens for minor connections on WebSocket port 3333. Um, and so this is going to be important when you're starting up your GPU miner as you need to know the port um, of your stratum proxy. And when we go into the GPU mining tutorial, you'll be able to see where that goes. But uh, just take a mental note of that. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it in terms of installation. Uh, as far as maintenance and updating, I would recommend taking a look at the uh, maintenance and updating section in run a node. Um, but Overall, pretty straightforward. Um, to run the proxy again, you'll just run the same command to uh, change the location that your proxy is pointed at. You'll have to make sure that your node is running in that location and just change these ports, uh, these port numbers, which we grabbed from this WebSocket port uh, page here. But that is going to be pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, you guys now know how to run a stratum proxy and uh, stay tuned for how to set up a GPU miner and point it at your stratum proxy. And that will kind of complete the, uh, the trio of node, proxy, and GPU miner. Cool, and I think uh, that should be it. Thanks everybody for uh, following along. Super excited to have all of you guys uh, join us in playing around with the Iron Age testnet and excited to see everybody running their proxy and mining on their GPUs.